Alrighty, let's make sure the bunker has gas masks. Huh. This has been a long time coming. Part one, characters. These ones are the best ones. Those ones are okay ones. Ah, yes, characters. Um, most of the characters I do not have a qualm with, uh, except for the box one, you know, computer box person. Uh, that one can go burn in a nondescript location because, no thank you. Um, any who's it's, uh, so, I've been saying any who's it's way too many times for a normal human being. Okay. Alright. Ah. Uh, character number one. Goat lady person. Uh. It's okay character. It works. Really wouldn't do anything to change it. Next two characters. I'm covering these two for a reason. The skeleton bone people brothers. Now. These are my favorite characters. Alright. I will. Alright. If you like other characters, you know, it's fine. But. In my opinion, hands. Down, best characters are the Bone Bros. All right, you want to know why? Cause they're funny, and they go together well. All right, you know. All right, the laziness of Comic Sans Man and the absolute workhorsedness of Not Sans Man is, you know. Plus, they also actually feel like brothers as opposed to just, you know, video game characters. Which is, honestly, it's probably only like, established by, like, those two characters, for me anyway. Uh, yeah, nice sibling sort of messing with each otherness, you know. It doesn't feel like they absolutely despise each other, but more they just dislike what they're doing, but, you know. It's better than most, to be honest. Oh, uh, actually, wait. I got another thing. Uh, fish person. Eh. Weeb monster reptile lady. Uh. Eh. Alright, I guess that's it. Part 2, plot. Let me just pull out my plot bot. Yo, dingbat, they be spoilers ahead, alright? Be careful. Tread lightly. Robot. Alrighty, as you can see, I had to pull a chart. Because, you know, charts. Anyway. First, we're gonna go with a good boy ending, alright? Pretty much the same. Except you have... Flippin' Doodle Boy Flower Man. Instead of... Turning into Goat Boy, well he does turn into Goat Boy, but he ends up stabbing you in the back, because of course he does, however your friends are end up freed. So, it's like, you know, we won, but at what cost, or that sort of thing, you know? I don't know. This is mainly, this is an undercooked idea to be honest. You, if I was gonna make this better, I'd pretty much leave the good ending intact, to be honest. But anyway, uh, this was just an alternate idea. Any who's it's, now we have the end for bad boys. Alright, pretty much the same until, like, judgment part where Sans is like, Yeah, if you date one more, darn dilly dilly do darn dilly darn dilly darn step him after Ned Flanders you up on this hizzy house. Instead of doing that, he's like, Bro, you a bad dude, my guy, but... You know, whatever. Do what you want. It's for your enjoyment, I guess. You know, and I'm sure you're wondering. Well, well, darn dilly dooly dilly dilly arn man, more man guy person. What would you rather have Sans do instead? Because you can't remove the Sans fight, and and to which I would respond to why. Of course, you can't remove that. However, I have a different plan for that. Anyway, instead, you get uh, you have to fight. Chara, and if you don't know who that is, or you didn't listen to the dip dill darn diddly dooly dilly darn dilly arn spoiler warning, or you just really don't care, which you shouldn't, alright? All joking aside, these games, like, no joke, pretty good. Anyways, 
Uh, <clears throat> you have to fight Chara, or you can choose not to when you get, like, the bad ending, where it's like, you know, Chara gets in his basement, you know, whatever. Anyways, if you fight, it's bad. If you don't fight, if you fight, well, if you fight, it's less bad. But anyway, all right, now here is, here's the really good idea, all right, this is the one that if you wanted to make it better, you really should do, because, you know, well, let's a little bit of lore. Also, if you fight, uh, all, you, all, your, all your progress, all your thingies, all your doodles, all your schmadoodles, all of it, like, even, this is like a true reset, all right, everything's dead, everything's gone, everything is just Utterly, utterly destroyed. Forever. Right? Your files are corrupted. You have to delete the game and then reinstall it. You know? You gotta clear out everything. I'm not even kidding. You should have the files, like, corrupted themselves. And whenever you try to play it, it's like, lol, no. Yeah. Anyways, uh... So... And then we have... Alright, if you play the game once, for the first time, nothing really happens, alright? You know all the, like, weirdness things, where it's like the Gaster Boys, you know? Those things. Those, those aren't, don't happen yet, alright? Second playthrough, some of it happens, alright? There's, like, a few, few things, you know? It's like, oh, that was different, you know? Things start happening differently, you know? Third time, third time stuff, start, you do stuff, things are going out of whack, you know, not exactly, and of course you don't have to follow this exact model, but you know, third part, things are kind of going out of whack a bit, alright, things are just, some things are just kind of falling apart, you know, fourth time, again, same as third, fifth time, things are another chaos, alright, the Gaster Boy, he is there. All the follower men are there. And it's just, it is, it is. The world is kind of having like a mini panic attack, and you could have like dialogue reflecting that. You know, the world's like, oh goodness gracious me, just what the heckaroni is going on? I am not supposed to work this way. Something needs to be fixed. Which leads to. Time number six. I really can't do this because I have to hold the camera up with one hand. This is when you get the Sandsman boss boys, all right? This, this is where you put the Sandsman, all right? You have to actually work for it, all right? Now, of course, you wouldn't get all of the fancy pants Markiplier's and jack a black boys because... Well, actually, you might get Mark because he does, like, uh... Well, you wouldn't get, like, their, their, like, reaction to it immediately. Alright, someone would actually have to discover this, and then someone had to type out in the description, Hey, Mark Marlabar bar bar you gotta do a thing real quick. It's gonna be really good. And, of course, you have game theory about, Oh, Time Traveler Guardman is actually the doctor. But whatever. Alright. But it's a good idea, alright? At least in my opinion. You know, you can feel free to disagree with me in the common lamelance. But, I like it because, you know, it makes you work for the Sans fight. And it kind of makes more sense to me, you know. Like, this Sans is essentially, like, some kind of god figure kind of thing. Other than, of course, the dog who is lord and savior of us all. But, you know, he's like... Alright, listen, kid. Uh, this is not a really good Sans voice, but I don't care. Listen, kid, alright? Listen to me, alright? Don't heck with my bro, bro, alright? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, and I'm gonna stab your eyes out, you know? But he's also like, eh, yeah, man, you know. Look at me, I'm telling jokes. I'm also a skeleton, and I make a bunch of skeleton puns. And I play the trombone! You know, that sort of thing. And I feel like, you know, 
as the world slowly collapses in on itself, you know, he's going to be like, all right, listen, you killed everybody. I told you not to do that, but you did it anyway. You know, whatever. You saved everybody. You made up for your mistake, right? You know, good for you. Then you did it a whole lot more times. And you essentially screwed the universe up. So, uh, I'm gonna have to do something about this, right? And then you have the whole Sans fight. And then you got, you know, Sans gets tired and he's like, Alright, listen, I'm gonna I'm a punch you a deal, alright? I'm gonna let you keep playing this game. But I'm gonna have to reset everything, alright? You re- He- And then you either accept it. Where he's like, alright, li- alright, deal's a deal. And he essentially just, you know, leaves you alone. If you don't accept the deal, well, he's like, alright, listen. Guess I'm gonna have to keep fighting you. You keep fighting, you know, you keep fighting and fighting and fighting. And he's like, joke's on you, I did it anyway. And just kind of resets the entire thing. Alright, hard crash. All the files are gone, and Steam has to re-download it. Now, of course, you're, some of you may be wondering, Palin, I don't have good internet. How will I do good with this game if I have to download it for five hours all the time? I don't know. Guess you're just going to have to not do a thing. Okay. That was a good idea. I think, maybe. Let me know if you didn't think it was a good idea down in the comments. Uh, anyway, this cuts off this episode of Ramble Rants. Suggest what you want in a future episode down in the comments section below. Also, dice. Also, fun fact, touching this thing makes me incredibly nervous. Watch. Yep. Okay.